You can fall down a rabbit hole looking at Google Maps and learn all kinds of things about your own neighborhood. Some of it's true, some of it's not. That's what we heard from residents of Park Hill in Congress Park. Here's Marshall Zellinger. Frosty on the porch, a white tree out front, homes decorated for the holidays in Park Hill in Denver. This does not look like where you would find multiple vehicle towing businesses. We were just looking for directions on Google Maps and suddenly we noticed on top of our house the pin for a towing company, which we do not own. Shanna Kirk alerted us to the companies popping up in her neighborhood on Google Maps. The 11 red icons with the white dot in the center all indicate towing companies basically at someone's home, where the closest thing to a tow is the sign about a towaway zone. We called just to see what would happen if we tried to actually book a tow ourselves uh, to our own address. And I stopped at just before the point where she would have asked for payment information. I didn't want to provide that. Hi, what was the company name? I was curious who would show up. I'm looking for Weston Tow Truck. I called four of the companies. I called a business called No Road Rescue Company. They had different names, but the phone numbers started with the same prefix. Hi, uh, towing and roadside, that's not the number I called. Each call started with the same recorded message, the same music, and each time a different person told me I had reached the same company. 24-7 towing and roadside. That's the name I was given when I called the two locations supposedly based at these homes in Park Hill. One of the companies was listed as Strong Wheels Road Assistance, the other Weston Tow Truck. Never heard of Strong Wheel Road Assistance. Scott Johnson lives at the address that Google Maps lists as a towing company. I've been here about 30 years, 32 years now and uh, never has there been a commercial enterprise towing company or any kind of company. Yes, I've re reported multiple times to Google Maps. And I reached out to Google to find out how this is happening. Does the company do any research before allowing a pin to be placed? Like the one for Lorenzo Tow Truck Rescue, which is at the address for National Jewish Health. A Google Maps spokesperson told me they have computers and people who work around the clock to monitor Google Maps for suspicious behavior. The spokesperson said they are already removing policy violating content. And I checked. Some of the towing companies I called today have already been removed. Is what Shanna found a scam or a towing service that is saturating Google Maps with different names and numbers that all go to the same call center to be assured of getting the call when someone needs a tow? I wanted to find out. So I called the one listed at Scott's home and said I would pay for a tow truck to show up and leave just so I could see the name on the side of the truck that showed up. If one did show up, they quoted me $189, which was more than the bosses were willing to approve oh, for this test. Come on. That was, I would have spotted you something to do that. I want to, I want to know who it is. Like there's, there's a reason they're doing it. You know what I mean? Like there's no reason that it's just happenstance. We do know Marshall, thanks to a previous story on next that you can just drop a pin on the map and, and call it a business or a park. Yeah, the Christian Shaw Park, that was Loveland, right? Loveland and Longmont, keep, keep getting it Loveland confused. Loveland or Longmont, yeah, somebody dedicated a park tour that doesn't exist. Here's one thing that I found out. Because I was quoted a price and because Shanna was quoted a price, it's possible if this is a legit company that they have violated state law by being named something else but offering a service for a specific dollar amount. Someone has to complain to the Public Utilities Commission. They can't just watch this story and investigate on their own, but either me or... Shanna can complain to the PUC to start an investigation. Somebody thought they had gamed the system, and now they've got Marshall Zellinger on their keister, so that's a lesson to all of you. All right, thank you. Really interesting stuff, Marshall.